They are Ghostbusters 2016-ing the Acolyte trailer. Oh, and there's hockey going on. That literally 90% of the Star Wars fan base are some of the most toxic, whiny, hateful, annoying, self-righteous, narcissistic, ignorant, entitled, pretentious, intention-seeking, sad, pathetic, scumbags in the multiverse who will complain about literally everything Star Wars related. But believe, believe me, I'm like ho hockey, hockey. There, there's hockey to talk about. Star Wars, though. We're we got to talk about this Star Wars trailer reaction to the trailer. It's more the reaction to the trailer. We this is more interesting than the actual content of the trailer. I am Mecca. Please subscribe to this channel if you like more content, don't we? We like content, don't we? The following video is brought to you through the generous support of viewers like you. If you like this content, then please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And for those who are in the position to donate, this channel thanks you. And so does this orange cat. The most disliked in Star Wars history. I, I'm Mecca. That's my space thing. Hey! Hey, guess what? Guess what? What? I have a screenshot too. So this is an article from Cosmic Book Cosmic Book News. Here we go. The Acolyte trailer scores the most YouTube dislikes in Star Wars history. I got a screenshot. Before before we get to the screenshot, and actually, it's it's bigger than any video you clicked on yesterday. I'm recording this on Saturday morning. This is pretty much the most recent down thumb. It's been getting down and down and down, hasn't it? This has been the talk of the weekend. Now, while I'm busy watching hockey and, and, and other things, dealing with other things in life, you know, this, this has been flooding, flooding the internet here. The Acolyte trailer, first off, we, we can't ignore the fact that this is Star Wars today. This is modern day Hollywood. So what's the biggest talking point? What's the what's the agenda behind the thing? Can we fairly, I took notes on this, you know, I took notes. Can we even fairly judge Star Wars as an art form in this day and age when every reaction is going to be what kind of political agenda are they sneaking in? What kind of, because we've, we've already heard that they're going to be focused on what? Female centric, women, 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 women power again. This is about power. And who is allowed to use it? Right. So we know that you're going to have more focus on that and not even be able to find an actual critique of the art form. But is it even an art form at this point? Or is this just content to hope you buy a streamer and, and hope that they have the right back of or right group of advertisers backing the right thing and the right streamer for this what? For this what? Everybody's putting their dollar money in the sand and trying to pick a side. I don't know, my side is the best side. You know why? Because my side is the side that's going to turn this into probably Probably, probably a coffee commercial. Probably a coffee commercial, because that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna stand around drinking coffee, complaining about all the problems of space, and they're not even going to get to any, pretty much all the action adventure stuff is going to be in the very beginning of it. The genuine criticism is gonna get lost a lot in the, it's woke, it's not woke, it's anti-woke, it's or, or whatever, and it's not anti-woke. The people going, yes, but the anti-wokes are more focused on the number of dislikes and lulling and focusing out, and focusing out, pointing out, pointing out this entertainment industry subtext. So when I go and try and make my little coffee commercials and have fun with it that way, I gotta kind of sift through all the noise and try and pretend it's not there. So I can give you the finest quality coffee content. What, what do I, what did I write down? Are we using, this is a question for you. Are we using the fact that we're looking for any politicization as a way to argue our politics when we might have in fact, I don't know, outgrown the content and the fantasy adventure of the Star Wars stuff. And we might want to be, I don't know, focusing on our own fantasy and adventure and our own 
agendas at this point. I might be focusing on my own agenda and getting the attention of one very specific person that I would under no circumstances uh, accuse of being anything because I was throwing myself at them back in the day. If you know what I'm saying. And I don't have a ring on it now. Mister. Oh, I'm going to call you out by name, Aaron. Yeah, I'm going to call you out by name. And I've been flirting with you since I was 16 years old and you know exactly who I'm talking about. How's that for a hidden agenda, huh? Or whatever you're calling yourself now these days, Papa. What are we talking about with the tr You want to see this. You don't care about who I'm flirting with in the side. 430,000 <laughs> down for the Acolyte. 430. See, I don't have the plug in here. I can see the 170 up. Four <laughs> they're, they are Ghostbusters 2016-ing this. They're Ghostbusters 2016-ing this Acolyte trailer. What are they saying about it? What What is the consensus around the internet here, I wonder? Wow, the first trailer for the Acolyte has received hundreds of thousands of dislikes on YouTube from Star Wars. Are they Star Wars fans or are they just people who, who watch a YouTuber and want to recite back everything that YouTuber says? I don't know. I've, I've been one of those. I've definitely done that. I've been more of a follower than a leader, and I'm bad at being a follower, aren't I? Because it's, it doesn't look good on me. It does it. I prefer making the coffee commercials that you guys enjoy, knowing that I don't drink coffee, and making it all about me because, let's face it, I am the one who matters on my channel, and my channel is Mecca Brand. <laughs> There's a Wookiee! Look, there's a Wookiee! Look, it's a Wookiee! He's got a man bun ponytail. It's a Wookiee with a ponytail. That does not make sense. I want to focus more on why the Wookiee has a ponytail. Do we have Wookiees with full-on man buns? Is he balding on top? Do they have bald Wookiees? I haven't seen that. That's what I wonder. Yeah, 355,000 as of the article, right? You can still look at it with browser extensions. I don't have it on this. Let's see. Let's see what the comments say. Newest first. Shallow. Oh, these are always fun. These are always, Remember when we used to read the Rotten Tomatoes scores and see all the bots coming in? And what's sad is that a lot of these aren't bots, but they might be, Are they, right? They might actually be. They're going to be followers. They're going to be people who watch this on YouTube and stuff. That might be related. I couldn't tell you. Like I said, I'm only worried about me and my content and all of this stuff so if you want to comment and help and prove you're not a bot please comment on this video where am i going with this i don't know this is why i don't like watching people's videos on it because then i only see what they said <laughs> and i lose track of my coffee commercials i really do the entire comment section is literally living proof that literally 90 percent of the star wars fan base are some of the most toxic whiny hateful annoying self-righteous narcissistic ignorant entitled pretentious ex intention seeking sad pathetic scumbags in the multiverse who will complain about literally everything star wars related and not the flawless original trilogy like good guys Either shut up and enjoy Star Wars or don't bother coming out of your mom's basement. So then what does that invite? That invites more comments like this. It's like they're giving you a reason. They're giving them a reason. They're giving them a reason. And this is two minutes ago this comment came up. So what do you have? You have go, go, go woke, go broke. I thought it was get woke, go broke. Get woke, go. It's get woke, go broke. Thank you very much. They're even getting, they're getting the talking points wrong. They're getting the talking points wrong. Hey, Candace Owens got fired. Can I have her job? Can I have her job? I can make just as much in many estophobic comments as you like, but uh, I might be less of a liability or more. I don't know. I'm more of a liability being somebody who doesn't believe any of this stuff. The Palladians and the Insectoids are attempting to carry out their secret coffee agenda. They need you caffeinated to make you easier to locate and harvest. The caffeine makes your blood vibrate. They use echolocation to track you. The more coffee you drink, the more you vibrate. How do you think they found me? So don't delay. Enter the code CAFFEINE and receive 10% off your next order. Wait, we're selling coffee now? Yes. Go, baby. baby. Okay, I guess we are. Ah! But Star Wars, you know, close your eyes. What do you see? These nuts. Uh-huh. What do you see? I see people shoving their personal agenda, activism, and politics into everything. And they're making Star Wars a battleground for both sides now. For both sides now. Is there anybody who's going to give me an honest review of how many coffee commercials they're going to cram into this? 
worn out from giving your most absolute minimal effort pretending to train to be a Jedi? Then it's time to unwind with the delicious tasting Paw Bugs Coffee. It's got that perfect blend, whether you're half-assing it lightsaber training, or using the force to grab another cup. Dear God, even their training involves drinking coffee. Who they gonna fight, Lord Starbuck? Enjoy the great taste of Paw Bugs Coffee. Now available at Smith's, Costco, and other fine stores. Ah, uh, you know, if this is the best you can do, maybe the Empire should take over. Things would be a lot better. Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye! He's got a man bun ponytail! <laughs>